Good afternoon, good afternoon and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Village and today we are going with the village boys um, to rugby practice Hey Lux And uh, Lux here is the hooker <laughs> So we're gonna see how the uh, rugby training uh, goes and uh, some of them are gonna play tennis eh, this weekend eh? Hey, Roy. Oui. Dance in Olo. Olo. When I look at Rara, the playground. Oui. Yeah. You meet these guys there. Oui. So the. It's well, a bit far. So the tenth, tenth season is beginning, but not the fifteen yeah. and and seventh. Then tenth, then fifteen cup. Oh. And how has it been going for the practice so far? Uh, the boys are fit or? Uh, a little bit fit. <laughs> Just a little bit fit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> and uh, what's the biggest uh, issue that you guys face when you are going to rugby practice for you and the boys? Ooh, there's a lot of issues. What's Me. the what's the main one that you guys? The rugby boots. The rugby boots? Yeah. Oui. All of, some of us just uh, some of us just uh, play tens. The boys that are playing have the boot tens. The ten people that playing they have the boot, and some uh, don't have the boot. When the reserve come, we exchange the boot in the rugby play. Oh, so some of yeah. them they need to like when they get sub, they need to take off their shoes yeah. and then give it to the yeah. Yeah. to the Ooh. one that. They to the one that uh, Oi. That's the main issue. Oi, the balls and all that can wait, but the main yeah. thing is the... Only the gum, only the boots. Only Oi, the gum boots. Gum boots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, people, I've been watching them practice yesterday. <laughs> it's true, it's amazing how agile and uh, speedy they can be on their feet, you know? I was like, man, this is so amazing. But um, also, it's a bit sad that some of them I mean, many of them doesn't have any boots, um, and um, I imagine them if they did, how much better of the player they would be, you know. But um, it's amazing how well they can move, though, uh, on their feet, bare feet. And Kuroi. Uh you don't have any boot yet. It's so when you train, then it's all on yeah. your feet, barefoot. Yeah, we just uh, we barefoot in the ground. Once I have uh, money to get my foot, my my boot, then I can play. Mm. So now, that's what they are playing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'll go inside the playground then. One step on my leg. Most Tomorrow, no walk. <laughs> just the house. <laughs> So uh, I don't know how um, the practice is going to be, like the practice structure, you know? Uh, how is it they go individuals and then team or is it just like this where just play around? Um, but yesterday I saw them do some uh, conditioning and... Uh, <laughs> whoa, it's not for the... You know? It's not for the... For the weak boys, if I can say it that way, uh, it was grueling. Um, so let's see what it is today. This is my leg. This is my foot. Amen. Hallelujah. We got it. We got it. So I heard some of them are going to play tens this weekend. Um, that is ten aside. Uh, normally you play sevens aside or fifteen aside here in Fiji if you're playing union. Um, and then they also have rugby league, which is a bit different. Still rugby though. Uh, I'm not really into, you know, what's the difference. Um, but I don't. I think they play mostly union um here in fiji and especially sevens you know the best in the world <laughs> um 
so probably the um, practice how does it go usually work how uh, how do you start is it uh, warm up or yeah. can you explain a little bit how after this you start to you did you do with the warm up after the warm up then you can run into the playground and join the boots like that uh, playing now so now we'll start with the with the warm up first thing warm up Metal. Yeah, first thing you, you you should warm up before you go into the playground. Midi, midi, midi. And um, after warm up, then uh, what do you guys do? Uh, after warm up, you can go and play. And after you after you play, then you come back and warm down. <laughs> and after warm down, you go down to the village, you bring the ball, and you pass the leg there. <laughs> Yeah, people, as you can see there, as uh, Tosesa was talking about, the main issue is the boot, and um, it's um, clear to see, you know. like a um, fun practice if it's, it's this they're gonna do all um, two hours hopefully not you know um, let's see I guess this is where they get their flair from you know um, the creativity from when they just play touch rugby where you can't tackle each other but uh, it forces you to be uh, creative with the ball you know um, and that's uh, what you see through uh, a Fiji rugby uh, Fiji rugby, especially when you watch the seven side, um, everybody's always in uh, excitement or are excited when they watch Fiji play and uh, make things look unnaturally um, so easy sometimes. Um, I think it's some of it is maybe here when they uh, play touch rugby, it's fun to see. Okay, I just got confirmation on that. Uh, I just got confirmation on that. Um, this is just warm up. So I'm looking forward to see the rest of the training because yesterday when I came. They were already full on, I think there was like a half an hour left of training. Holy moly, look at this. Yeah. And um, all the boys that you see from the video is uh, playing um, Philly. Timothy, Josese, um, Jacob, Koroi, that's all of the guys that you see in the videos, they're the one playing still. Um, Pais in Subanal, so he's not here at the moment. And I forgot to mention Luke as well. If you people may be wondering why I'm not playing, um, I've never played rugby in my life. Um, I, you know, uh, when I lived in Denmark, I played mostly American football all of uh, my life since I was uh, 11 years old. And I put up the boots in 2018. Um, 
it was just as a hobby. Um, but I've tried to play rugby once in Denmark at a sevens tournament, and it was okay. But um, after 2018, I was done with with all sports, all team sport. I just wanted to to do my own thing, you know. And um, now that I'm doing vlogs, I'm um, I don't want to risk the injury. Um, some say. The cousin they uh <laughs> the cousin they say that um oh it's because you are alum you scared to play and uh, in reality um yes because like I don't want to risk getting injured when I'm doing all this vlog. And the other thing like rugby in Fiji is pretty physical, you know? Especially when you play in the village level. The competitive competitiveness is big the boys are really good when you, you know even though they stay in the village like uh, and the tackles here it's um sometimes when you say in overseas oh that's dirty it's clean here so <laughs> i'm good with just being on the sideline you know um but uh, all of them are talented. And this is sponsored by Powerade. At least they have Powerade for fuel, eh? Yeah. Brother Jacob is powering up. Powerade. After this, brother, what's the next? Uh, uh, what's his uh, the next schedule uh, for the practice after the warm up? After the warm up, do some more stretch. We oh, stretch. Yeah. Oh. After that, then start with the bulwark. What's the bulwark? Can you explain a bit? Bulwark. Ball, ball walk. Oh, ball walk. Yeah. Ball walk or ball work? Ball walk. Then uh, can you explain a bit about the uh, the ball work? Big ball. <laughs> to make sure make sure you can secure the ball. Yeah. Oh. Secure the ball. Uh, we the style. The way you pass the ball. Oi. Where you catch the ball. Oi. After this, then you see. Set. Yeah. Look at this, this is uh, Ben Volobola about to bang his head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I just think they just finished up the warm up and now it's time for them to stretch. I don't know. You know, people have uh, different uh, ideas or. So. Schedule. What's uh, what's next? Uh, what's next? Oh. Okay, I gotta watch this. I gotta watch this. Okay, it was, it was not stretching. I think they're doing conditioning now. Okay, the next one here, the next one here. And another section over there. Oh, 
How's the conditioning, bro? Ooh. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Try to... When you not smoke, when you start to train. But when you smoke... You can feel it. You feel the pain of smoking. When you start to train, you feel the pain of smoking. Yeah, she must have... Hey. Oh, the... Very encouraging. Very encouraging. Hey, she, she. <laughs> Oui. Yeah. Oui. Too much smoke. Too much, too much sugi. See, I told you to stop the smoke sugi. I'm trying to turn it down. Oui. <laughs> no. <laughs> you try, man. You try. Huh? No, I'm a uh, retirement. Eh? Retirement. Hey. You're retirement from what? Netball. Retirement <laughs> from netball. So how many, how many times are you going to do this? How many rounds? This is called the uh, browns. The browns? Oui. You run five, four, three. Oh. That's one round. And how many rounds are you gonna do this for? I don't know. You don't know. This is to, for ready for warm up. Oh. Stop you should yeah. do it for hundred rounds because you unfit, man. Me fit. <laughs> <laughs> So people once they finish their uh, rounds of uh, conditioning. Now it's time to no, stretch. Yeah. Look. You too. Stretch Monday your cap. Ew. Some stretch eh? Oi. You should uh, stretch a little bit, brother. He seems uh, um. wanting to stretch. Ah. Stretch. Ew. <laughs> Hmm. You're not uh, enrolling in your this semester? Oh, for the semester. Oh, now it's a rugby play. Now it's rugby, rugby semester. <laughs> <laughs> After this uh, stretch. Yes. Oh, it's How do you feel? Do you feel uh, fit or unfit? Or tell us about your certain um, uh, current. Right now, I'm overfit. <laughs> Hey, fuck you. Hey, 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 Concentrate, man. Don't play. What now? Time for some water. Water break. Water break. That was uh, the stretch session. Yeah. Oi. This football game didn't hit that Oi. What's the stretching, Timothy? Catch, na. Catch. Catch, na. <laughs> so what's next, Navita? What's uh, next now? Don't know. Don't know. Yeah. Oh. More running. Ma. <laughs> Don't. Okay, I don't know what the next part of training is gonna be, but are we just gonna go with the flow, you know? Wow. Uh, do you feel fit? Matsuki. 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 
From now on, no more soup, no more crop, eh? Only sabo. Yeah, sabo will make a body strong. Oui. Oui. Okay. Oui. Thank you for recommending sabo, eh? No, no, no. Karua, matai karua. Kocara kiri karua. Ruangan apa lawan tu selingkit dalam food? Tu buat lagi kita makan. Macam mana dua hotel yang begitu? Tu batang. Kau kau tu begitu balik di situ di sini tu di sini tu tengah nonton tu. Siapa yang nampak? Siu. Untuk potong atau tengah kita 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 nak. Untuk apa kita mikir lagi kita punya sulit kita nak. Abek kiri. Macam mana pula untuk sabat tengah kita pun tu mata ni pot mata ni tu nama tu bukan alangkah di situ bukan kita nak. Bukan ni tu nak food. Nampak tu terma nampak tu. Some team talk from the uh, coach. Let's see how it's gonna end. Hopefully, well. Okay, um, a little bit of an update. So, um, there's only one ball. Um, they are waiting for another ball to arrive. So, somebody just went. I don't know to, if it's my village or the neighboring village of Nosovigi over there in the far distance. Uh, but they're waiting for the ball before they can begin and uh, this is <laughs> one of the things you face in um, village rugby training you know not enough equipment so balls um, so luckily they have a few balls but sometimes they play with punctured balls you know just to make the practice happen so um, yeah one of the hardship they face is sometimes Okay, they've just begun uh, scrimmage. Is it scrimmage or, um, you know, I think it's uh, full contact practice? I don't know what it's called in rugby. Scrimmage? But, um, look. That was so just with a tackle for me. Number Time for free throw. I don't know what it's called in uh, rocket terms. Number <laughs> Somebody just come thrown out. <laughs> Dirty tackle, late tackle, I think. Langi. God damn. <laughs> Boom. It's getting a uh, pretty physical uh, people. I don't know. It's just tragic, but holy moly, it's like it's a full-on uh, game, you know. Yeah. Even though it's just yeah. practice. Oh, 
Maria Samata, Maria Samata, Maria Samata, Finish. 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 Okay, brother. Okay, brother. <laughs> Jacobi was the one who received the uh, late tangle from the back. So, <laughs> but he's okay. Kita <laughs> <laughs> Ready, brother. Huh? You're ready. We're ready. ready. Yeah. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Be strong, so she's. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in the halftime speech, they got some feedbacks from the um, spectators on what they can do better, uh, what they can improve on, the bad things they did. So what I got from it is they're too careless with the ball and also um, as soon as they receive the ball they just wanna you know do the contact straight away instead of be patient with the ball spreading it around so um, it's, yeah, as I said it was pretty physical first half so I think they could uh, spread the ball more make the game cleaner you know and um, as one of the boys said um, Today the law um, protects the player more, so don't do any um, dirty trick or play dirty because you will get caught and uh, it will affect the team in a negative way if you get thrown out of the game, you know, then they have to play with one less man and that's not good, so be disciplined, you know. Second half is on the way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So this team just scored, but uh, they're behind. I think we three scores to one, maybe 15, 20. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go,
another score. <laughs> so they just finished the game. I think the other teams. Um, I think the other team won. But uh, it doesn't matter. In practice, it's always about improving as an individual and as a team. You know. So it's the game that really counts. On to the next part of practice, jogging. Time for another stretch session. Okay, people, the practice is coming to an end, and now they are gonna go in the circle and uh, sing a song to praise the Lord. I know the Lord will make a will make a way for me. I know the Lord. I know the Lord will make a will make a way for me. If I live a holy life, serve the Lord and do the right. I know. And that's it people, that is the end of another practice, it's the only the second time I've been uh, watching them practice 
Yesterday was my first time when I came when it was half past five and uh, I didn't see much of it so I asked them if it was okay I came again uh, today and um, tried to vlog it you know but um, they're talented but a lot of improvements eh? like um, first of all they need shoes as um, the coach said like um, when they were having their team talk um, at the end of the practice that uh, they the coach encouraged them to try to encourage the players to try to find ways that they could uh, buy a boot because um, I think last year many of them didn't have boots and they went to a tournament and had to like borrow boots from other players of the team so they are trying to avoid that this time you know <laughs> but yeah um, the struggle of village rugby really <laughs> How's the practice looks? Good. You ready to play? Yeah. Here. What do you think, Momo? Okay. How was the guys? Good. Are oh, they good, ready to play? Oh, good. good guys. Yeah. Are they ready to play uh, Saturday? Uh, oh. Yeah, really. Saturday. Let's go. 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 Let's